Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the video and today we are here with some Assassin's Creed Unity stuff. So I just want to sort of build up, you know, the hype for E3 which is only a couple of weeks away now. I think it's actually just like just over one week away. So that is so cool. It's so close to E3. Uh, Watch Dogs is obviously released. If you haven't already seen my Let's Play, you can go check that out on my channel. Uh, which is just really cool if you guys would, you know, go and check that out. But E3 is coming up soon, so Assassin's Creed Uni is one of the next big things on the list. We've also got, obviously, Far Cry 3, which they're going to be showing off. Uh, we're going to be seeing Far Cry 3, did I say Far Cry 3? Far Cry 4, um, and Halo 5, obviously, we're going to see a ton of that. Um, they're not showing any Quantum Break. There was a thing saying they're going to be showing some of that at uh, Gamescom in August, which is kind of cool. Uh, but they're making a TV show, so what that kind of leads me to believe that um, at E3, they're going to be showing off the TV show more so than the game. Uh, yeah, uh, I want to see if they're going to show off any new Fable stuff. I'd love to see some like like a Fable 4 trailer. That'd be kind of cool just to sort of get the hype going for that because I love Fable. Uh, a lot of people don't seem to like it, but I really love Fable. I think those games are really sort of they just they're light-hearted, they're fun, they're funny, um, and they're just they're just a lot, they're just a great like they're just they're just fun. Okay, uh, but yeah, Assassin's Creed is my main focus of E3 2014. Um, Assassin's Creed Uni and Assassin's Creed Comet. If they show that off, that would be insane. Showing off two of their like. Uh, main games uh, is gonna be really really cool uh, so I cannot wait to see that tell me tell me in the comment section below what you'd like to see like do you want to see some multiplayer do you want to see some single player obviously most of you guys and definitely me want to see some single player of Unity and obviously Comet but I'd love to see what they're gonna do with the co-op see that's that's like one of the big points because I didn't used to care about the multiplayer like oh there's a multiplayer trailer there's a multiplayer demo it doesn't matter but the co-op looks really really cool so I want to see what kind of like how they're gonna do that they're gonna have like missions they're gonna make it really shit or like the wolf pack that they did because that was a load of load of bollocks but hopefully they make it really cool like they could do something really nice with it like um i don't know if you played the ghost ghost recon uh like co-op that's really really cool um the ghost recon one and also for watchdogs i haven't played it but i've seen it and it looks really cool like the co-op for watchdogs um but yeah you know like they're capable of doing good co-op so maybe they could do something cool with the co-op on unity uh and maybe they do co-op on a comet as well but we don't know what they're going to do with either of the games like one of them could be centered around co-op that might be what the co-op thing is and the other one could be the main story which is unity but i highly doubt they're going to do that and they'll probably put like the normal multiplayer on comet the co-op on unity and then like unity will be like the main story and then you have like a little side game kind of similar to um liberation in a sense with um comet but still part of the main story because obviously not everyone has an next-gen console so they're going to need to sort of bring that in like to the previous gen with Comet um, similar to how they're doing with Unity on next gen but kind of make the story feel like worthy of like calling it a main game but also like because they can't leave people out like people who don't have next gen or maybe people who sold their previous gen like people are going to be left out like oh god I don't know what's going on obviously you can see it on YouTube uh, obviously on my channel if you want to stay here and you don't have a next gen console I'll be playing through Unity and if you don't have a previous gen anymore or you're not going to get Comet then you can see Comet playthrough on the channel because I'm going to be doing both of them, uh, Let's Play in both of them, which is really cool because, you know, just comment down in the comments below how many, how many of you guys are actually going to watch me play through Unity because that would be really cool to see how many of you guys actually really sort of want to sort of get see the journey, like, with me playing it because I know a lot of you guys obviously are going to be getting the game but how many of you want to watch me play it as well because I, I always do Let's Play of Assassin's Creed games, you can see my other ones, I've done Assassin's Creed 1, I've done Assassin's Creed 2, I've done, I, I did previously do Brotherhood and Revelations but I deleted both of them and I want to do them again. Um, and also, I need to finish AC2 on the channel. I've finished all of the games, obviously, numerous times. Played them in order. I played the first one when it first came out, so it's not as if I've played them recently. I've actually sort of followed them along as they came out. But uh, on the channel, I've done AC1, I've done AC2, part part of AC2. I've done AC3, I've done AC4. Um, so you can go check those out if you want. But also, who's going to watch play Unity? Who's going to watch play Comet? Um, if you haven't already watched play Watch Dogs, go and check out my Watch Dogs thing, because that's really, really cool. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, smack that like button, and tell me what you think of different things that I've mentioned in the comments below. And even stuff I haven't mentioned, like, what are you what are you looking forward to at E3? And even Gamescom, because I'm going to be covering a lot of Gamescom and TGS, because Assassin's Creed, Ubisoft normally go to TGS um, in, I'm pretty sure that's around August, September time, which is the Tokyo Game Show, which is really, really cool. But yeah, can't wait for E3, can't wait for Gamescom, can't wait for that, can't wait for more information about Unity. Uh, I'm really, really hyped, so get uh, you guys need to start getting hyped. Comment down in the comments below what you guys want to see at uh, E3 and what you want to see from Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed, and even what we want to see from Unity, maybe in the demos, and maybe do you want to see a trailer before E3? Maybe like uh, like a few days before, because they did release a gameplay trailer um, before Assassin's Creed 4, they showed it at E3, but I think they're keeping this one quite under wraps. I don't think they were even meant to show off that one trailer until E3, but kind of 
like, you know, it got leaked, unfortunately, so it would have kind of been really cool to not have seen anything, go to E3 and then just show off that amazing trailer and then go jump, like, straight into a demo and show off the gameplay and then ruin it and show off a companion app in, in where that inv is really involved and you're like, N no, no one wants to use the companion you get rid of that because that's shit. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smack the like button because that'd be absolutely amazing. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. I'll be setting fire